Uh, that's right. So we look for any assistance that we can with our learning. Um, we, uh, some of you know, we have lots of um, engines out there in the marketplace and they chat a bunch of others. They are very good for learning code and developing code. But some of the challenges with that is they're good at general Python. So MicroStation has its own specific functions. What I might show you next is how you can get certain coding systems or, or chatbots to learn um, the MicroStation specifics alongside Python they know. So we'll look at two specific um, chatbots that I've looked at. I've looked at a few, quite a number of them. Um, some are good, some are bad. None are perfect. Okay. We'll get onto the imperfect, imperfection bit in a minute. But this is what particular one called Greptile. Now, the key with Greptile is you can see this button here, chat with your code base. So this was the importance of, of creating all these samples. So if we go to the GitHub repository, and anyone can do this, go to the GitHub repository in GitHub and see all, all the different code um, for Python. We have the samples folder as well. Copy the link, go back to Greptile and add the repo name and hit chat. What it does, it goes through all the GitHub repository and tries to learn from it. So it can then assist with our typing. So we've got one here, write me some microstation code which draws a line from point A to point B. It tells me the samples that it goes through to learn the microstation specific functions and then writes me some, some code there and describes what it wrote as well. It's quite handy. So we can copy that out and come back to microstation, open the Python manager, create a new, um, a new Python script and it will open the editor and paste it in and play. And what it did, it created a line. So it's always my basic test with a with one of these engines. If it can create a line, then I'm okay. It's on its way. So we might save that off. Um, we could then ask it to oh no, ooh, it's, you're just gonna change the, the value in there from one hundred to a thousand, and it created a bigger line. Right? So you can get the code down. Helps you get all that syntax right, change your value, test that. All good. For someone who's not a coder, that's quite handy. So this one will place two circles at the end of the line with a diameter of 3,000. Let's written the code. We'll copy it out. We'll create a, a new script here and paste that in. Hit run. Hit run. Save it first then hit run. And there's some circles on the end of a line. Okay, so, all right, this is a good start. Um, and also it looks quite good now. It's not perfect. I will iterate that. Yeah, got to exercise some patience with this stuff. So can you change the color of um, any lines that are black or, or color zero to color three, which is a red? It goes through these particular Python samples, has a look at the code. Again, we can create a um, script, libraries, okay, and it will change the any element color zero to three. So um, there's a little little test case there, a Greptile. Here is Chat GPT. Now Chat GPT um, doesn't necessarily um, look at our sample files, but you can use this add-in to Chat GPT called Ask the Code. What Ask the Code does is it interrogates a repository, a chat, uh, sorry, a GitHub repository. So again, going back to the GitHub repository, I'm going to copy the, the, the link and I'm going to say, using the samples in this repository, create uh, me the solar system or draw me the solar system. So it comes back with some code. Just visually looking at it, it looks kind of right. Okay, um, so I'm going to copy it out again. Create the the new file. Um, 
paste the code in there and give it a run. And I get this error, okay? Which is normal. You get a lot of errors with this stuff. But what I'll do here is copy out the key bits and paste it back into, um, into here. And you can see up there, I've pasted it in and it's rewritten the code for me. So again, um, same process, copy it out. I'll just delete all that, paste it in and give it another run. And it, again, it's giving me another error. I don't copy the last three lines because it's just telling me the lines where the errors are. I just copy, co uh, copy and paste the main error. In it goes and it redoes it and out, paste it in. And it finally gets it right. So it draws me solar system, the orbits and, and so forth.